Hello there, Pisces. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Pisces for the week of June 27th. If this one isn't resonating so much, Pisces, go ahead and check out your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. We're looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find all of my information down below in the description box, along with the link to the extended reading. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. All right. So looking at the overall energy here, we've had an ending eight of cups. Eight of Cups is walking away from a person or a situation. It's trying to emotionally disconnect from somebody, disentangle yourself. Um, I'm not sure whether you left this person or they left you, but that Eight of Cups is trying to disentangle. Queen of Swords is sort of interesting. It's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So it's possible that you're an Aquarius cusp. Um, it's possible that you were in this energy. Sometimes the court cards are aspects of our personality. And this is being a little head over heart. It's being logical. Um, I think of the Queen of Swords as someone who creates boundaries and barriers. She demands the truth. She literally like doesn't have time for that. You could also be dealing with someone who's a little bit cold and guarded. And I'm saying that because of the four of pentacles here. Look how she's behind this gate, right? She's got a chain link fence. And then, you know, that fence is chained as well with all these little locks on it. It's someone who's super guarded. They don't want to be vulnerable. They don't want to let their guard down. They don't want to let you in. Um, that may have been the problem here. I don't know whether it was communication, meaning the person wouldn't tell you what they're thinking, you know, what's going on with them, or they're just kind of a private person and it's hard to figure out where things are with them, what they're feeling, you know, what's going on between the two of you. Seven of Wands is also defensive behavior. Uh, he's literally in a cage. Um, it can also mean being willing to fight for a connection and sometimes tarot cards will resonate in more than one way with more than one meaning. Because we also do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, and getting to know each other, which is interesting. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So that is the sort of card that would show up for a new relationship or a new person. With reconciliation here, it makes me think, this is a former person though, almost like you're finally getting to know the real them or like maybe you haven't seen them in this mode before where they're more open and less guarded and less, um, boundaried up here. So let's take a closer look at their energy and we'll see what comes out. All right, here's what we have so far. I'm going to clarify this with the good karma tarot. On the table, you'll find uh, the Tarot of Mystical Moments. There are links to both of those down below since I get questions all the time on tarot cards. Um, this person has some burdens here with the Ten of Wands. You can see like she's carrying all these flowers on her back. Have you ever seen Labyrinth with... Oh, they're running around with junk on their back. It's in her hallucination slash dream this person carries a lot of burdens. I think they have emotional baggage. They may have had a bad ending here. Tens are the ends of cycles. Aces are the beginnings. So I'm not sure if this is emotional baggage from the relationship with you that they haven't released, or maybe even from being a child with their family or an old relationship here. But there's definitely something that they need to let go of. Uh, the Nine of Swords in reverse, wanting to let go of worries or anxieties. Nine of Swords can also mean someone who's in their head a lot. They overthink things. Um, they prefer to keep their worries to themselves. We have the Three of Pentacles, which is, this is the conversation, collaboration, cooperation card. 
It'll show up in work ratings when you have a good team that you're on. It can show up in friendships that you get along with the people that you're friends with. You're easygoing that, you know, the two of you have things in common, things that you want to work towards. This is someone who wants to work with you, who wants to be open, who wants to share here. The Emperor as well, Major Arcana for Aries. So the Emperor in the reverse is someone who they have a control issue, like they like to keep themselves under control, they're a control freak, or they're a hot mess. It's in the upright here, and I have a feeling right now it's in the reverse, that this person maybe is figuring out that they don't have to be on top of everything or in charge of everything. Or they have the opposite problem. The emperor is always about bringing order to chaos. It's about control. And it's either someone who is a control freak or someone who has issues with that. And they're not really good at kind of keeping themselves together. I feel like this person is out of balance right now and they're coming into balance. Um, going to be more open with you. Going to share a lot more. High Priestess, there's your major arcana. High Priestess can mean using your intuition here. It may also mean that this person is in your energy. They're thinking about you. They're dreaming about you. They're kind of focused on you. And again, like I said earlier, the, the tarot will resonate in more than one way and more than one meaning. Another possible meaning of the High Priestess is dealing with someone who's kind of closed-lipped. You have no idea what's going on beneath the surface. And I do think that that's this person's problem. And I think it's about control or feeling like they need to be like brave here. Or maybe a need to be kind of stubborn about things and they want things their way. All right. Let's pull one more card from the Tarot of Mystical Moments about this person. And then we'll clarify it with the Good Karma Tarot. So what is going on with this person? All right, huh. the Ten of Cups. That is a wish fulfillment card. It's a happily ever after. I think this person has major feelings for you. That Ten of Cups is seeing someone as a wish. It's wanting to offer someone a commitment. And I think in order to get what they want here, to express their feelings, they're going to have to be vulnerable. And I think that probably scares the crap out of them. I don't think you've ever seen them like this before. I think they're getting ready to be much, much more open with you. All right, let's clarify it. Okay, so tell me what's going on with this person. We'll clarify it, and then I want to take a look at how this person is currently feeling about you. We'll do a little preview of the extended reading. So what's going on with this person? All right. Nine of swords. Yeah, they're in their head. Overthinking things, worrying about it, freaking out about stuff. Um, you can't keep your burdens all to yourself. I, some people think, well, this makes me strong. I'm independent. Sometimes you need help. Sometimes we need to let our guard down. And I wonder, maybe this person is like realizing that, that that's what they need to do here. Seven of Swords in Reverse. So the Seven of Swords in Reverse can be someone who lies to themselves. The Seven of Swords is in the upright. All right. So the Seven of Swords is lying, cheating, stealing, sneaky, being shady. It can also mean someone who has an agenda. I'm not getting that this person is shady per se. I'm getting that they're closed lipped. They don't like to talk about stuff. They don't want to let people in. They don't want to be vulnerable. Maybe because they think it makes them weak. The seven of swords in reverse is lying to yourselves. Sometimes it's also being open with someone or speaking your truth here. So what's going on with this person? Yeah, we've got the moon in reverse. Cancer and Pisces energy there. 
The moon is things that are hidden, things that we don't talk about. You can see the way that she has her finger over her mouth. Like, shh, don't, don't talk about it. This person really needs to talk to you. They want to let their burdens down. They want to speak their truth here. Admit their vulnerability. Let you in. So what is going on with this person? One more card and then we're going to do their feelings. That's too many. So what is going on with this person? We've got the emperor again, more Aries energy, the divine masculine, the father, the husband, bringing order to chaos, handling situations, kind of being a grown up about it. Um, they're, they're ready to take the next step. They're ready to take charge of the situation to fix it. All right, let's do feelings. All right. So tell me about this person's feelings. How do they feel about you? got the justice card. Major Arcana for Libra. Justice card is feeling as if you've wronged someone that you need to apologize. You need to balance the scales here, make amends, make it right. It's also the need to speak their truth, to be open. That's a big thing here is communication, being honest, being open, being willing to meet someone halfway. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you want the extended reading, look for the link in the description box or click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. If you want your own private reading, you can also find that information down below. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. Thank you so much for watching and blessed be.